All right, so hello everyone, good afternoon. I'm Tiffany Bennett, I'm part of Moodle HQ, where I work as the Customer Lifecycle Specialist in the Moodle Cloud team. So today I'm gonna to be sharing the short presentation on empowering lifelong learning with Moodle Cloud, supporting educators, and enhancing the Moodle ecosystem. So I have been working for at Moodle for just over eight months now, and in my somewhat unique specialised role, I've had to focus on a few things in learning about Moodle Cloud when I started. So I've had to look at Moodle Cloud through the lens of a Moodle Cloud customer, not just a user. I've had to get clear on how Moodle Cloud is different to say Moodle LMS and Moodle Workplace and also who a Moodle Cloud customer is as opposed to someone who works with a partner um, to get their, their Moodle uh, product. Um, and I've also had to understand how Moodle Cloud fits into what I call the Moodle ecosystem. So all of these learnings have inspired me to put together this presentation and I'm hopeful that by the end of it, you'll have a better understanding on how Moodle Cloud is empowering lifelong learning, who is a Moodle Cloud plan customer, and how Moodle Cloud enhances the Moodle ecosystem. And I also wanted to note that throughout this presentation, I mentioned Moodle Cloud in, in lots of places, but I'm always specifically talking about the Moodle Cloud standard plans offering. So how does Moodle Cloud empower lifelong learning. So I believe Moodle Cloud plans empower lifelong learning by providing an affordable and easy, accessible platform that supports continuous education and skill development to people all, of all ages all over the world. But what sets Moodle Cloud apart from other Moodle products and services is how affordable it is. Um, you know, you can get started today with a plan from, in Australia dollars, $180 a year. So it's very affordable. It's also the minimal tech expertise that is needed to get set up and manage the site. Uh, and also how quick and easy it is to get a Moodle Cloud site ready for learners to use. But it, it's also all the other things that people love about Moodle. It's accessible, it's easy for you learners to use, it's collaborative, it's versatile, it's secure and compliant, and I'm, I'm sure there's lots of many other benefits as well, but the, um, you know, what Moodle Cloud plans do do is it ticks a lot of boxes for individual educators, small businesses, startups, and small non-for-profits and NGOs who want to deliver online learning. But I think it's important to remember that not every prospect who is looking for an LMS wants custom development or professional learning design or even understands what self-hosting versus cloud-based hosting is. You know, some have a very, very small budget and so they're looking for something very affordable. Some need an LMS quick, like today or tomorrow. Some only have a very small number of learners. You know, they've only got 10 or 15 people that they want to deliver a course to. Some are only getting start, just getting started delivering online learning and they don't even know what a good LMS is yet. Some need a short-term solution, so maybe they're only going to be running online courses for six months or so. And some have never used Moodle LMS, so they just want to give it a try. It's also important to note that Moodle Cloud is used by lots and lots of different educators, micro businesses and NFP organisations that would have had to find another product to fit their budget and their resources if Moodle Cloud wasn't available. So who is the Moodle Cloud plan customer? So what we know is currently we have just over 7,700 active paid plan subscriptions. And in the past 12 months, so from July, August last year to the end of July this year, we had over 80,600 free trials started. So you know, that's a lot of different people from all over the world who are using Moodle Cloud either through trialing it or using it through a paid plan. Our market research data and new data that we're starting to capture from our sign-up process also tells us that approximately 50% of our customers and trialists are using Moodle Cloud to teach students. 
approximately 26% to train staff and the rest are either using it to sell online courses or for personal reasons or that magical other option that we don't know what that is. And 51% of new trialists also shared with us that they've never used Moodle before. So this is sort of interesting data that we weren't expecting. And it's interesting that there's that many new trialists that are being introduced to Moodle through Moodle Cloud. So now I'm going to introduce you to three different Moodle Cloud customers. They aren't made up personas. These are real customers, although I have changed the names and a few identifying details. And so they're just to let you see the type of people or, or customer who, is, who has chosen Moodle Cloud to deliver their online learning. So first up, let's meet Reg. Reg is a retired teacher who is setting up a homeschooling program for his local church. And he wants to use Moodle Cloud for, to deliver his online subjects. So Reg chose Moodle Cloud because for many years as a teacher, he used Moodle and he had a positive experience using it. And so this is why he decided it was the perfect fit for this project. He also knew how easy it was for his learners to use and because he already had a basic understanding of how to use Moodle and manage courses and everything. Next up, meet Brenda. Brenda is the CEO of a non-for-profit organisation who manages the delivery of intervention programs for people charged with or convicted of a specific criminal offence. Uh, her organisation has used Moodle Cloud for seven years and in that time approximately 1,500 people have been enrolled in their courses. So it's only around 200 to 250 people who go through their courses every year. Now they chose Moodle Cloud because of the usability and also how robust the system, our platform is. You know, she shared that in seven years they've only had to contact customer support once. Um, plus they really like the ability to capture the data needed to know if their programs are actually working. And lastly, meet Paulina. Paulina is a teaching coordinator for an online certification course that educates physicians on a specialised diagnostic method for an early detection of a specific type of cancer. Now, they only have 35 to 40 doctors enrol in the courses every year. But while they're only teaching a small number of um, learners, they're delivering very, very important uh, training that is upskilling our medical professionals. So she shared that they chose Moodle Cloud because it was the ability to incorporate lectures and forum discussions and scheduled assessments, as well as being able to allow the physicians to review the content and the classes and participate in forums when it suited their time schedule. So as you can see from meeting Reg, Brenda and Paulina, Moodle Cloud standard plans are servicing a type of customer that's probably unlikely to engage with a Moodle partner at this stage of their, their journey. They want an LMS that is very affordable, very easy to use and set up, doesn't require them to be tech experts and delivers a positive experience for their learners. And this is what Moodle Cloud provides and it's what keeps them as a Moodle user. So the final thing I wanted to share is how I see Moodle Cloud enhances the Moodle ecosystem. So how I've come to understand it is the Moodle ecosystem is a comprehensive and interconnected network of tools, services and communities centred around the Moodle learning management system. It's made up of Moodle LMS, Moodle Workplace, Moodle Cloud, Moodle Plugins, Moodle Net, Moodle App, Moodle Academy, Moodle Partners and the Moodle communities. Hopefully I haven't missed any there. Through these various individual components, the Moodle ecosystem provides a holistic and adaptable solution for online education that empowers both educators and learners worldwide. So I, wanted, I believe that Moodle Cloud supports the Moodle ecosystem in the following three ways. Firstly, it introduces new customers and users and adopters to Moodle specifically through its lower barrier of entry. So by providing an affordable, simplified product, Moodle Cloud encourages more educators, trainers, and organizations to adopt Moodle as their LMS, which increases our user base. It's also the simplified setup um, that brings in new customers. It's easy for small organizations or new startups to get started with Moodle and discover if it's right for their needs. 
And also the market visibility of Moodle Cloud helps to bring in new customers as well. So more potential customers become aware of Moodle and aware of our capabilities and our features and consider it for their online education needs. What we do know that is that every new Moodle customer or user is someone who could potentially, down the track, engage with other parts of the ecosystem and also introduce more users to Moodle. The second way it supports the Moodle ecosystem is it retains Moodlers. You know, Moodlers from time to time may change their role uh, and maybe they need to adopt a new LMS specifically maybe one that's more affordable or more simplified at certain times. And Moodle Cloud enables them to keep using Moodle rather than needing to switch and learn another platform. It also retains Moodlers by helping them to preserve their content. So Moodlers often have invested a lot of time or resources in creating courses. And using Moodle Cloud, it allows them to store their course content and continue to use it how they wish. It also retains Moodlers by showcasing the latest version of Moodle LMS. So Moodle Cloud offers a really convenient way for Moodlers to experience and learn about the newest Moodle LMS features and updates. So someone who's invested the time in learning Moodle and sees themselves as a Moodler, we know that ideally they don't want to change to another product and have to learn another product. And lastly, the third way that Moodle Cloud supports the Moodle ecosystem is a, is a standalone leading LMS solution. You know, through the advocacy of um, Moodle Cloud users, it supports the Moodle brand with loyal customers who often advocate Moodle. Um, and even if they never move on to working with a partner or getting a more customized site, they're often the ones who are telling other people about Moodle and their positive experience of Moodle. Uh, the user feedback we get from our customers is really valuable and us at H, uh, Moodle HQ, we use our Moodle Cloud customer feedback as um, a really important part for future product development. And finally, the success stories. You know, Moodle Cloud customers contribute to case studies and testimonials that support our marketing and also inspire confidence in Moodle. So moving forward there, as I can see it, there's only positives that can come from Moodle Cloud empowering, continuing to empower lifelong learning and playing an important part in enhancing the Moodle ecosystem. I wanted to highlight a few things that I believe that would be really good to focus on moving forward. And the first one is growing the Moodle Cloud customers' Moodle knowledge and expertise. So how can we turn them into a true Moodler and keep them engaged in learning how to use Moodle? Uh, also supporting our customers' journey in being online educators and delivering quality, innovative, engaging online learning. You know, how can we provide resources that they need to upskill and grow as online educators? And also, I think it's really important if moving forward to expand on our vision for Moodle Cloud. How can we further grow our market presence and in introduce more individual educators or small organisations to Moodle? So I hope that this has provided you with maybe a new insight into Moodle Cloud or you've learnt something new about the Moodle Cloud product or possibly has changed your perspective just a little bit about Moodle Cloud. I did want to close with that it, it'd be great if let's embrace the possibilities of Moodle Cloud and also the really valuable role that it does play in the Moodle ecosystem. Thank you. Thank you.